my name is Joseph. Like my nice multicolored coat that my dad gave me? Oh, my brother's gonna be so jealous. Joseph had 10 older brothers who all hated him and they wanted him dead. Joseph's a little twerp, let's waste him. Yeah, he's going down. <laughs> <laughs> Day, they were gonna kill him, but they decided to just throw him in a pit and let him starve to death instead. How kind. However, they had seen <clears throat> some slave traders and they came up with an even better idea. Let's sell them and make some money off of them. That's a great idea. Let's go. So then they had pulled him out of the pit. And just like that, they had sold him as a slave. They had time for that. See you later, alligator. Bye. I'm gonna go get me a new robe. The slave traders took Joseph to Egypt. They had sold him as a slave to the leader of Pharaoh's bodyguards, a man named Potiphar. I, I'm Potiphar. Yo, Joe. Take good care of my crib. I'm putting you in charge of everything. I will, sir. But soon after that, Potiphar's wife, she was noticing Joseph, and she thought he had some incredible swagger. Hi, I'm Potiphar's wife. Ooh, what a hug. <laughs> oh, can you pick this up to me for me? Cool. Me like it. Yo, Joe, give me a smoochie. Oh, no, you're married. That's against God's laws. Ugh, I can't believe she asked me to kiss her. <coughs> give me a hug, you Joe. Ew, you're disgusting, you know that? Uh-uh. <laughs> two years in jail. <sighs> Things just are not going my way. Mm. Years later, a king, also called a pharaoh, he was having some trouble. Yo, I'm the pharaoh. The king, he woke up with a star. He had had two crazy dreams. Pharaoh asked all his homies, but no one could explain what the dreams meant. that Joe could tell him what his dreams meant. So, what do my dreams mean? Um, I can't tell you the meaning of your dreams, Your Majesty. But, God can tell me the answers, and then I can be able to tell them to you. God had told Joe to tell the king that his dreams meant that Egypt was going to have some good weather, and then they were going to have some bad weather. And he also gave him some advice for the king. So what you do, need to do, Your Majesty, is have someone who's really, really smart collect the grain during the seven years of plenty. And then during the seven years of bad weather, have 
have them give it back to the people. Sounds good. So, what are you going to do for the next 14 years? Well, my calendar's kind of pretty free at the moment. So, I guess you got the job. Oh, thanks, Your Majesty. So when Joe was 30 years old, he became the leader of the land, answering only to Pharaoh. And when the bad weather had come, Egypt was the only place with some eats. And Joe's brothers, remember them? They needed food, so guess where they went? They went to Egypt. We have had nothing but margarine bread for three stinking days. Hey, look it, there's someone selling food over there. Let's go, let's go. Well, they didn't know that the guy handing out food, that it was their long lost brother. But when they arrived, Joseph, he recognized them immediately. Holy Toledo, it's my brothers. The ones that threw me down in that pit. Oh, that was bad. Why is, why is man crying? Anybody dying? It's me, Joseph, your long lost brother. Oh, holy holy Toledo. Toledo! You guys come live with me in Egypt. Oh, goody, we visit the pyramid? Do you think Joe's gonna get back at us? Oh, Joe, please don't hurt us! I'm not a hater. You're not mad at us, bro? You're not gonna get revenge? Nah, when you guys meant for bad, God used for good. I'm saying, I love you, and I forgive you. Come and give me a hug, guys. So then there was a nice group hug, and Joseph took care of his brothers and his sisters for so on, forever and ever, the end. <laughs>